enough to uh, sp spot this song. We are going to take a look at a hit from 1971 by Brian Hyland called Gypsy Woman. Now there's a lot of songs that have titles like that. Of course uh, uh, Santana had one similar to it done by Gabor Zabo tied in with Black Magic Woman. Okay wait 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 let's not head off in that direction. Uh, this is a really easy strumming and singing song. Now it was written in 1961 by Curtis Mayfield and his band did it, The Impressions. Uh, didn't really become a hit though until Brian did it uh, about almost 10 years, well, 10 years later. And uh, Brian had a string of, he'd been putting out records since the 1950s, 59 or so. So had a uh, kind of a one hit thing at, a at the time, itsy bitsy teeny weeny yellow polka dot bikini, for those of you that remember that one. Uh, but a couple years later had, uh, since I'm capo I'm not going to play it, but another cool tune sealed with a kiss that became kind of a standard for a lot of people. Now Brian didn't ever write any of this stuff but that doesn't matter. So he was a singer, performer, and uh, found video of him still performing from 2015 I believe. Uh, so uh, still singing these these tunes. Pretty cool. Now this song is uh, basically fairly simple. It's a strumming song. It's going to use chords that you know. E minors, A minors, B minors, things like that. Um, that short little intro we'll talk about. It's two little eighth note runs and and that's it and then we just have to strum the chords and we'll talk about a couple of little strumming patterns that I'd like to um, explore in this. So coming up a lesson on, I'm not going to try to sing this. One of the things we're going to try to get in this is we want to hear the chord big on the first beat. So you want to like drag out the notes of the chord on the first beat of each measure that has a chord change. And then we'll talk about, you know, kind of um, hitting different zones of the guitar. Get a bass note here, get, get the higher notes here and stuff like that. So that's, that's some of the things we're going to be talking about in here. Uh, we will have a couple bar chords in here. You're going to need a B minor. And in the introduction, we're going to need a G minor, but we are capoed at the fourth fret. So those are not the real chords. That means we're really in the key of G sharp minor. Do your homework. That's a key with five sharps in it. Or a flat minor, which is a key with seven flats in it. But we're luckily, the capo at four is going to mean that we just have to think in E minor. Bunch of easy chords coming up. <laughs> 